Well, I'm not saying anything. Oh, no, you are. Okay. Here, come up here. Can they see us? Okay, cool. Um, hey, plant friends, welcome to Melody's Garden. Melody, thanks for having us. Bloom and grow, YouTube show. <laughs> so on our podcast episode today that was released, we talked about amending soil and prepping this amazing earth that you've been cultivating and growing. So we're going to do that in this garden bed because we've got tomatillos. Now, you've never grown tomatillos before, right? New to me. We had to, we had to, never eaten them either. <laughs> we had to Google it. I had pineapple tomatillos, uh, or husk cherries two years ago and like can't stop thinking about them. Um, they're a relative of tomatoes, but they're these tiny little, they look like cherry tomatoes, but they taste like pineapples. Mm. And I haven't stopped thinking about them since I ate them. So when I saw them in the territorial seed catalog, I knew I had to get them. So walk us through, you and I are about to break apart this garden bed, amend it, and then plant these tomatillos up. So walk us through what we're gonna do. Okay, last year, lettuce was grown in this bed and then I planted some ajuga and they took over. They grew like crazy. Yeah, they grew, seriously. They grew toward the greenhouse and onto the path. What we're gonna do is make this into a raised bed and I'm pulling it, the soil away from the wood base for the greenhouse and we're going to put this uh, six inch tall plastic edging against the greenhouse so that we can raise the garden up a couple of inches and then we'll pull these plants back further, we'll push the soil up against the, the curved and then put another curved one straight out here and then fill it up and use Epsoma a fertilizer and compost to build the bed even further. You need to amend your soil on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. You can't just build it and let it go and say it's good to go. Yeah. Because the plants consume and utilize all of the nutrients. And just like if you had a plate of food and you ate it all, the plate is empty. Right. So the plants find the same situation. So you need to constantly always amend top dress with compost even during the growing season mm -hmm. and side dress with some Epsoma fertilizers. Uh, depending on what you're growing, they've got the perfect thing for you in terms of the NPK. So. Sponsored by. Um, yeah, so, so we got to line this bed. This is definitely a two-person job, so let's get to it. And then a few other tomatillo planting te uh, tips. You can plant. They have adventitious roots like tomatoes, so you can plant up to the first set of true leaves. More roots will grow. Oh, my gosh, the rooster's growing at us. Um, and they need like two feet of space because they kind of spread and bush out. So here goes nothing. Let's do this, Melody. Okay. Okay, plant friends, we've made the bed, added the fertilizer, added the compost, turned it all up, and now it's time to plant our tomatillos. Let's go. Okay, we had a productive day in the garden. As Melody said before, and you could probably have seen in the time lapses, um, we amended the soil with fertilizer, compost, turned it all up, so everything was evenly distributed. The tomatillos went in, we gave them about a foot and a half of space because apparently they're big busher, big bushy plants that kind of crawl a little bit, and interplanted some marigolds. I think it looks great. Um, Melody's so creative and the way that she sees things, it's pretty awesome the way we just kind of lined this thing and look, there's a bed where there never was a bed. Pretty darn cool. One other thing, when we were watering, you'll see in the time lapse, Melody recommends watering the soil, <laughs> the rooster keeps crying, Mo uh, Melody recommends um, watering the soil and not the plant. So you don't want to be like dousing the plant with too much water. You want to make sure you give the soil that you have planted the plant in a really nice water so that all settles to give the roots a nice comfy place to live. There are so many bugs out right now. Um, so really fun. I also love the way this ajuga came out when we pulled it all. It's like tumbling out from the side of the, from the side of the bed. And I think it's like a very whimsical look. I'm kind of loving it. 
So I'm so excited to eat my first homegrown tomatillo pineapple cherry husk. Uh, like I said, I've been dreaming of these little pineapple flavored almost cherry tomatoes forever um, since I had tried them for the first time a couple years ago. Uh, so excited Territorial Seed Company had them to play with. Can't wait to see these plants bloom and grow. All right, here's an update. It's been probably a month since we planted these guys and we've got our first tomatillo. Everything is looking pretty good. There's a critter that's like eating some holes, but it's all good. Everybody's happy, everybody's mulched. Um, and until next time, sweet plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. <laughs> Do 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 do